This news alert brought to you by Casarina All Sports Club. All your entertainment under one roof. Good evening, I'm Kathleen Gazzola with your nine local news update. Remote communities could be left without a police presence in just two years' time, with the federal government providing no clear commitment of ongoing funding. The police commissioner says it could impact the future safety of Territorians. They're the ones on the front line keeping Territorians safe, but in just two years' time, up to 70 police officers may no longer be serving remote communities. I'll need to consolidate my resources clearly and that will mean there'll be remote Aboriginal communities that have now had a police facility and some ad hoc police presence for the last 13 years. 13 years ago, the federal government's intervention saw additional police officers rolled out in communities, but the NT government needs federal funding beyond 2022 to keep police on the beat, as well as upgrading the decades-old police stations that service them. We need certainty. We need to know, are they going to be staying at the table and working with us to make sure that we have enhanced community safety at Bush, or are they going to walk away in 2022? The Police Association adding it would be a disaster if that funding is withdrawn. 106 auxiliaries and constables are earning their blue stripes as part of additional Territory Government funding, but many more are needed to service not only the major towns but remote areas too. In a statement, the Minister for Indigenous Australians says the delivery of policing in the Northern Territory remains an NT government responsibility, adding the Aboriginal investment end-of-term review is planned to commence in early 2021. Ainsley Kosh, Nine News. Police are continuing to call for information regarding the identity of a driver involved in the hit and run of a five-year-old boy. Paikia Haiko has to undergo surgery to fix his broken legs and has also been left with internal injuries. It's very senseless. I'm devastated. I'm angry. Um, my baby was left on the side of the road. Police have identified a vehicle of interest believed to be a 2002 to 2005 Ford Falcon, possibly an XR6 or an XR8. Students from across the top end have today tested out a brand new nature playground at the Territory Wildlife Park. But it's not the only surprise in store at the park for the school holidays. Swapping the classroom for a lesson out in the wild. Big goanna. These students are stepping back into prehistoric times to learn all about Australia's megafauna through climbing, crawling and digging. The kids can imagine and role play their next maritime adventure looking for the Paddysaurus fossil, which is in the fossil dig. Territory Wildlife Park has had the new facility in the pipeline for years and it's been made possible by $150,000 in government funding. Our original playground was probably a, a fifth of the size. And overall it's a welcome boost for the park and its customers given a tough few months. It's absolutely critical to show people that we are still open and operating and we're still here for visitors. And if the brand new playground isn't enough to get you and the kids here these school holidays, the three newest addition to the park certainly will be. River, Leia and Chili are dingo pups believed to be around 13 weeks old and they were found on the park's premises. It's been around about 18 months now since we last had dingoes here. People I think really, really enjoy seeing them close up because all they see out in the wild are fleeting glimpses of dingoes. The trio have had their DNA sent off for testing and in the meantime they're settling in well to their new home. They will grow up here and they'll become a part of our wonderful collection here at the park. Ellie Conway, Nine News. Thank you for joining us. We'll have more news shortly.